Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. It's May favorites time and I feel like my favorites are really random this month. There's a couple of beauty products but they're mostly lipsticks. Then I have a lot of other stuff to talk about that I have been loving this month. So let's dive right into this thing. First thing that I've been loving is my donuts phone case. We actually design and sell phone cases now and I am obsessed with mine. It's such an awesome case. I got the matte texture and I love the way that it feels. Plus, I always get a lot of compliments when I'm out and about about my phone case, which is really cool. I have my list of monthly favorites on here, so I thought I'd mention the phone case first because then I can go on to talk about everything else on my phone because I realized that if I just pull things out and like set them aside, I won't remember to actually talk about them. Even if they're in front of me, I will end up forgetting about something. So having a list on my phone just in the like list app that comes with the iPhones, makes this so much easier. My next favorite is a foundation, and this is the Makeup Forever Professional Ultra HD Invisible Cover Foundation. Ooh. I'm wearing it on my skin today. That was weird. That ooh is like really weird. But I'm wearing it today, and I think it's just a really great matte satin finish. If you want a bit more coverage than just a CC or a BB or a whatever, letter cream you're wearing or a tinted moisturizer. If you want something a little bit stronger to cover up any more redness or anything that you have going on, your face, but you don't want it to be too heavy or cakey. I love the way that this feels on the skin and it finishes really nicely and lasts a lot longer than most of the tinted moisturizers that I wear, which is probably because it's a foundation. So I recently rediscovered this little guy. It is the, like, it's not the Beauty Blender because that's like a name brand, but this is the one by Real Techniques and I have been loving using it to apply the Makeup Forever foundation I was talking about and basically any other base. I usually switch between my hands and brushes, but I just don't like the way that it's been looking and I really don't wanna get my hands that dirty lately because it is getting warmer and I just feel gross when my hands get all grimy. So I've been using this and I really enjoy it for foundations and concealers. So I do my foundation first and then I use the top pointier part to really get up under my eyes to get my concealer all settled in. And I think this thing is awesome. And I don't know why I just ignored it for so long. I feel bad. I feel like I was missing out on opportunities for really great makeup because I was just like, eh, eh, you know? You know how it is? Let's keep the ball rolling and talk about lipsticks. And I didn't realize I had three lipsticks to talk about until I gathered everything together and really looked at the list on my phone. When I saw that, I was like, should I remove any of them? Because that's a lot of lipsticks to not talk about any other beauty products. But I decided just to leave them in because they are my favorites. The first one is what I'm wearing right now. And it's a great, just natural looking mauve tone with a little bit of something extra, if you know what I'm saying. It is the Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche Lipstick in Pepper. And it is just a very good, easy wearable everyday shade with a little bit oomph, like I was saying. There's just something about it that adds a little bit more pizzazz, pizzazz, bazinga, whatever, to your lips. And I love the creamy texture of it. I'm not a huge fan of the flavoring of Bite lipsticks. I find them a little too citrusy, but that fades away pretty quickly and you're left with this really nice, rich color. It's super creamy on the lips, but doesn't feel like it's sliding everywhere and it fades really nicely. So my next two favorite lipsticks are actually both from Urban Decay and they're from the new Vice collection that they're releasing on June 5th. Pretty sure that this video is coming out earlier than that. But if not, if it's past June 5th and you're watching this, they just released their huge collection, total revamp of all of their lipstick line to include everything. So it's kind of like they took all the lipsticks from a bunch of different collections to make this one mega collection and like reformulated stuff. And you can find lipsticks that you've liked before, like Rush is one of my favorite lipsticks and they have reformulated it and put it in new packaging. But these are my favorites from the new range. The first lipstick is Back Talk and it's a comfort matte in this shade is just all around a classic pinky mauve neutral color. You know how much I love these. I probably have a million of them in this shade. But what I like about this one is that it is matte. So it lasts a little bit longer than the other ones. It fades nicer. It doesn't leave your lips dry, which I think is what the comfort and comfort matte stands for. 
and I really enjoy it. My biggest complaint about this new Vice line is the packaging. I feel like their Revolution lipsticks, that whole line, the packaging was so much nicer and so much heavy duty er I guess that this one just seems a little cheap but they are cheaper they're $17 a piece instead of what I thought it was like 20 22 so that's really awesome and it's not bad packaging it just feels lighter so this next lipstick is not one that I'm like wearing around all that often but I think it's such a cool lipstick and I definitely will find reasons to wear it in the future but it is big bang and it is a metalized lipstick which just means some serious glitter. I'll do close-ups and stuff, but when you put this on, you have glitter on your lips. And it doesn't seem like 90s kid over the top glitter. It feels like normal on the skin. You can definitely tell that you have glitter or there's something in the lipstick to make it a bit thicker, but you don't feel like you have flecks or chunks just floating around on your lips. So the first time I put this on was just like a regular day and I was just wearing it around and just really seeing how it wore. And Alex saw it and he was like, oh my God, that lipstick would be amazing if you wore it into club or something like that because it is so flashy and crazy looking but also seems normal. So I thought I would include it. Obviously don't wear it out all the time, but it's such a cool lipstick that I had to mention it. Moving on to non-beauty favorites. The next thing I wanna talk about are these guys. So I can never pronounce their names. I think they're Tsum Tsums, I'm pretty sure, but they're these cute little Disney characters that stack on top of each other and I love them. I have a couple on my bookshelf and I think they're just so cool. And I feel like I'm really getting back into Disney. Like I had a period of time where I was like, Disney's not cool guys, you gotta be an adult. And now I'm like, Disney's the best thing ever. If you guys have seen the Beauty and the Beast trailer, let me know what you think in the comments because I am so pumped about it. I think Emma Watson is gonna be amazing at Belle. That's my favorite Disney movie. And I'm just so excited for it to come out. But I love these guys. I think they're really cool. And I'd love to get a couple of more of them to add them to my collection. So I thought I, thought I would mention it. So I'm pretty sure this is my favorite non-beauty favorite of the month, but I have fallen in love with enamel pins. And I went through a phase growing up where I was obsessed with them. And my grandparents actually had, like my two grandmas had collections of their own growing up. So when they passed, I like inherited their pins. And then for a while I was just like, eh, whatever pins, you know, high school when you're a jerk. But now I'm back into it and I think they are so cool. I have this little otter and this puffin from Boy Girl Party on Etsy and I have them on my Ovalo tote bag. And I just think they're such a nice little addition. I just think they're cool. They're, they don't really serve a point, but they're just awesome. And you can have your little favorite guys just with you. So although I'm filming this video a little bit in advance, I know that when it goes live, one of my favorites is gonna be the new Erin Condren launch. And I have been loving looking at all the photos and the videos of the new styles, and I can't wait for it to come out. I think they are so cool, and Erin Condren's doing such a good job at getting a lot of different styles and types to suit all the different planners out there, all the people who plan out there, which is just amazing. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, Erin Condren just released their new line of planners for the 2016-2017 year, and they are awesome. There's a neutral one where it's just black and white with really cool calligraphy, and then a watercolor one that looks phenomenal. I'm actually getting both of them, getting a watercolor and the neutral one in the hourly layout, and then probably a vertical one as well, just to get stickers and stuff fitting in there, or maybe do a giveaway or something. But if you're new to Erin Condren, there is always a link in my description for $10 off your first order. That is a huge savings if you're getting into the planner world. They're a little expensive, so using that $10 can really help make things more affordable for you. But that's down in the description, and I know for a fact that it's been so fun looking at all of the things that I can't wait to actually like own the new planners. My last favorite of the month is Alex's YouTube channel. And I know that's a weird thing to say because it's like, obviously I would like Alex's YouTube channel, but his vlogs are so much better than my vlogs that it is mind boggling. Like he can take something as dull as making burgers on the grill and turn it into this really cool sequence of footage and video that is just amazing to watch. So if you haven't checked out his channel, also will be a link in the description for that because it is so cool. And I've kind of 
backed away from vlogging since he's been vlogging so much. So if you ever want to see what we get up to on like a regular day, his channel is the one to go to to see everything that we're doing. So there you have it, my May favorites. I would love to hear what you enjoyed in the month of May. So put that in the comment section so we can talk about stuff down there. I love chatting with you guys in the comments. So see you down there. That is gonna be it for today's video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you wanna see more videos from me. My posting schedule is gonna be a little bit different from now on. Instead of posting Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I'm gonna be posting Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. So a little bit different, but you're still gonna get three videos from me every single week. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.